<laughs> all right guys in the wake of the calf award coming up in january we have all tipped ademola lukman to win the best african player of the season but from all indication now all players are stepping up official huh? that's a while another for our boy he's, he's, he's having a, a cold game uh, since the beginning of the season but other players are coming up pleasure don't the day on them pleasure day, my brother pleasure to you are <laughs> now welcome to find out we'll bring you exclusive about happenings in the world of sports from fans reaction to pre and post match now trust me we'll bring it to you as the apple now official Allah. what do you have for us on this yes uh from watching football for 13 era, for 13 era words, yeah. you understand to the biggest stage of uh, club football yeah. like we said champions league is the most prestigious club uh trophy you can ever, you can ever imagine have. for i know there's the league there's the cups and every other thing but champions league there's a feeling to eat there's a feeling to this anthem yeah. and now the new format and every other thing and uh, in his world like i said they say from watching it for 13 in the streets era, yeah. of in the streets here in nigeria yeah. to being on the biggest stage to being the one playing the games now yeah. and getting his first champions league goal. what a name Victor Boniface, Victor you understand, Boniface, he has yeah. joined the list of uh, illustrious uh, Nigerian footballers, icons, yeah. that actually scored in the Champions League, you understand, we look about Kano Wanko, Yakubu, all of them, name it all, yeah. the Mikelobi, you understand, he has registered his name, so our prayer for him is to keep going, because uh, yeah. one out of many, you understand, we have Ronaldo now, you understand, Definitely. Mr. Champions League, one and something goes, yeah. likes of Lewandowski, something and every yeah. other thing, so it will be bad for us to have a player racking 30-40 goals 40 in the goals, Champions League yeah. in Africa. I think the highest goal scorer in the Champions League in Africa, I think it's, it should be between Eto or Salah, yeah. you understand? So I think Victor Boniface can actually do us great on that note. So I want to say congratulations to him as we saw them. Uh, Brian Leverkusen actually defeated AC Milan yesterday. Yeah, it was actually our boy versus our boy. Yeah. Because Chukwese was in AC Milan there and Boniface actually shined, you understand, the man of the match, scored yeah. the lone goal after an assist from free from wow position wise good you understand i just urge our interim manager was around to actually watch these games you understand yeah. you know i was speaking to my colleagues that uh, there's a difference how these players mm -hmm. actually play in the club side and the the, the country, country side, side you yeah. understand i feel uh, in bayern Leverkusen is not left alone up front you see yeah. florian wit not Always far there. behind yeah. him and the other you see the like the way grimaldo is supporting from the, the left yeah. the way free is supporting from the right yeah. and he keeps getting this goal so we need yeah. to watch how this player is actually used so that we can yeah. actually get the best out of him okay. so it was it was a good uh, outing for him yesterday and on the other side one of our boys was on the opposition team chukwezi yeah, and i won't lie to you like i said chukwezi actually started the season on a high yeah. nice precision scoring the likes yeah, against yeah, madrid yeah. and the yeah. rest but I, I, I don't think he started the season because they actually gave him time I think he started two games, two league games, yeah. and he didn't do anything with it. And he has, was, has been relegated to the bench. Yeah. Came in on the 80th minute. The only notable thing I saw him do after he came on was the yellow card in the 90 plus minutes. Imagine. You understand? So there's a lot we need to talk about Chukwezi. Yeah. What, what is going on with Chukwezi? Like I said, to me personally, I, I don't think Chukwezi evolved. Like he has lost his feet. Yeah. yeah, I don't even think he evolved after the under 17. There's yeah. nothing special to his game. He was the same player. You, are, you know, we have seen how players actually change their pattern. Yeah. I think Chukwezi is so much comfortable. The only time I see him turn up, even in when was in La Liga was the time he actually played against the big boys. Yeah. Barcelona, Real Madrid. I saw him score notable goals against those two teams. Mm -hmm. But uh, so far in, in AC Milan, it has not been just that. And I will understand because they actually bought so many players. Yeah. But these players they actually bought, they are in your age range. The likes of Pulisic, the likes of Love to the likes of Tam Abraham. Yeah. They are in your age range. You say you feel job, play ball. You understand? And you are not doing it. With the sporting director like uh, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, they will sell you, my brother. Yeah, yeah. You understand? So you need to do more. And they saw them lose yesterday. And uh, I think the calf best player award is getting tougher you know last week we also reported that boniface was actually tipping himself to win this award yeah. because in his own words he said he actually had a better season winning three awards three yeah. cups three what is, is, is you know that uh, this is european title yeah. but winning three i win league i win two cups yeah i win my super cup and everything yeah. it is not as compared to as winning one title we one actually title. win the league on beating you know when i know we in europa on beating we win the uh, thing on beating i was out yeah. injured and i still made about 28 goal contribution mm -hmm. you understand saying he actually deserved the award and i'm not gonna lie for you don't they stick in claim back because yeah. the guy played the guy well play yesterday well and he was deserving man of the match mm -hmm. okay now Gores is also in the picture yes yeah, yes exactly <laughs> we saw uh Dortmund actually defeat celtic 7-1 yesterday, yesterday and yeah. Gores, uh had a breeze you understand he had an impressive season in stuttgart last season yeah. where he played 40 matches scoring 41 goal you understand that enemy is big move to Borussia Dortmund you understand? Mm -hmm. and wow technically gifted I don't know African strikers are technically gifted like that my brother you understand okay. we know uh Osima with the share power, the, share power, the pace yeah. and everything but Gracie there's this touch to his game his technique is fine I'm telling you this guy I can't even say nobody Gracie what I know before 
Now he understand too. I no go lie for you. In as much as uh, the the CAF award, like I said, we don't know the basics of this award. Yeah. Whether it is based on what you actually achieved with your country, <laughs> your country or what you actually country. achieved individually. Okay. You know, because like I said, we have seen Abu Miyang actually win this kind of award without winning any trophy. Yeah. We have seen Mohamed Salah and Mane do the same thing. But regardless, Buresi is in the picture. We are not okay. sleeping on that guy. That guy yeah. You understand? Two goals in the Champions League now. He's not cold. And yeah. looking at Ademar Lukman for the past two, three games, we don't sleep. I won't blame him to do. I will blame his club for the uh, poor run of uh, of form they are. But yeah. regardless. I don't know, they get stiff competition on that award. Before, on paper, it was more like Lukman's Luke award. Man, but now, that. other players in your category have started stepping up because yeah. I think the voting is still on, the, the consideration yeah. is still on yeah, till December, till December yeah. before they actually close, close consideration. So, yeah. regardless, he has a lot to do. If I don't know, no waiting good for him. Okay. I mean, getting shooting boots on, then you get But you still believe that Lukman can still win? Yes. Before, if it was uh, more of a 70% for the man to win, yeah. then the many 30% made they share them. Okay. Now, at the man look chance, you know, they go 50%. Are you not knowing to the fact that he's still the only African Ballon d'Or nominee? Exactly the point. That's no, another edge for him. That's another edge. But I'm saying that the other players have stepped up and have picked up. Okay. Uh, Lukman has two goals, two assists so far. Yeah. You they see Bonifi don't they get five goals. Yeah. You understand? You can argue that Lukman started playing well in the country. Like I said, we don't know the basics of this award. Bonifi Probably award, yeah. it is based on your individual or what you actually achieve generally with the club. Because we have seen players sit on the bench. You understand and win multiple mm -hmm. awards. Multiple awards yeah. We don't see players where we say they don't they turn this award to nothing. You see players get five Champions League yeah. uh, uh, trophy uh, uh, medal. Yeah, How many play inside? Like bench, you understand. So regardless, I think Ademar will lose to get his uh, goal scoring put on. Okay, now Fiala, let's let's leave, let's debate a bit from the calf award. Yesterday we saw uh yeah. I don't want to say our players, but rather like it or not, they are our players scoring notable goals. <laughs> the Fufu man <laughs> and uh, Bukayo. Saka. Wow. <laughs> What a goal. What a goal. What a goal. Yeah. And maybe he had Kupama score and, and, and a free kick and he actually got on the score sheet. Regardless, it was a goal. It was a nice goal for him. I saw the statistics yesterday now that he, he okay, he needs a goal now yeah. to be the the first uh, the youngest uh, Arsenal player to reach fifty goals. Wow. I think Terry Henry is actually topping that Probably list that now. Is, so yeah. I think he has played fewer fewer matches than Terry Henry, but regardless mm -hmm. to show you how Saka has actually become over the years. Like I said, he's not playing for Nigeria, he's an England player, but everybody knows. Carries a car from the color yeah. and everything. So regardless, like I said, Nigerians, we are actually supporting people, and uh, that's a big fit for him. I want to yeah. say congratulations to him. On the other side, for Fuman, uh, Karim Adeyemi, I if I'm not mistaken, he has an academy in Ibadan here. Yeah. You understand? Like I said, these people actually have their reasons for not playing for the country. Like I said, some of them they actually grow in this play, in this part of this uh, world. So yeah. it's understandable if they don't actually get to represent us with their colors. Yeah. But we have seen these players actually acknowledge. Where they are from. He's always using the Yes, Nigerian exactly. Shinga, it's not even the yeah. Shinga. Like I said, he has an academy here in the battle. He yeah, always yeah. comes home here. I think his parents are his dad, yeah. especially is here. Yeah. And he has acknowledged Nigeria so many times. And what a nice fit for him. Hat trick. Yeah. You understand? He nearly signed for Juventus in the summer. Yeah. I didn't know why that deal didn't actually matter. But regardless, to show you how good he is. Like I said, uh, football actually evolved. There's yeah. this modern uh, modern uh, activity trying to add to his game. We've seen what the uh, uh, Adama Adama is doing. Uh, I think football has actually evolved from mm -hmm. wingers now, just making crosses. Mm -hmm. You can actually beat your man, make assists, make assists and score, score goals, 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 what type yeah. of goals. And I'm telling you, Bangas is scored yesterday, and regardless, mm -hmm. that's a neat fit for him. So, I you mean, in as long as you actually acknowledge us, we also see you too. So, you too. Congratulations <laughs> on that one. Sir. All right, thank you so much, official. Uh, now, congratulations to Adeyemi and Mukayo Saka. Saka, and the battle of the calf award is still up. Still on. And the moral look, man, you don't no longer have that seventy percent again, no, or even eighty percent again, no. Victor Boniface is stepping up, and Kudesi also is back in the picture. <laughs> well, the official, Allah. Well, the now that's our time on final. So let us know what you feel about the upcoming award in January in the comment section. We will bring it to you as it happens. We will see you again next time. Follow us on social media platform Final with Su ninety one on Facebook, Final with Su ninety one on TikTok, Final with Su ninety one on Twitter, known as X. Then Final with Su ninety one on YouTube will bring you the bonge package. We will see you again next time. Thank you.